The book of Deuteronomy is the fifth book of the Christian Old Testament and a part of the Jewish Torah. The book consists of three sermons to the Israelites by an elderly and dying Moses on the plains of Moab. The Israelites are standing on the edge of the wilderness, peering into the promised land, and Moses is urgently appealing to them to choose life and blessings rather than death and destruction. In essence, Moses asks them to obey God and to focus on God's promised blessings rather than turn away from God as other generations had done. In this Sunday School text, Moses speaks soberly about the challenges that confront the Israelites, speaking truthfully about their predicament. He explains that their most difficult dilemma, their most difficult challenge, is not found in facing a people in the promised land that despise them. Their most difficult dilemma is within them. Their own heart has hardened towards God. They are stubborn. And like modern Christians, most of their challenges originate within them. Moses is imploring. He's telling the Israelites that the rules and regulations that he is giving them are those that God has commanded him to teach them and that the people of Israel must obey these rules and regulations in the land that they will possess after they cross the Jordan. Moses reminds a stubborn people, just as he reminds us, that we are expected to revere God. We are expected to obey and observe all of his rules and regulations. He explains that these commandments are are for the Israelites' own good, just as they're for our own good, so that Israel can enjoy a long life before God and so that Israel will prosper and grow just as God had promised their ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Like any good leader, Moses looked towards the future, and so he doesn't stop there. He says, I am commanding you and I'm commanding your children and your grandchildren to follow these commandments so that they will live a long life. To love God with all that is within you. And you are to write these commandments on your heart. Not just write them down, but write them on your heart and pass them on to your children. Talk to them about these commandments when you're sitting in your home. Talk to them when you're walking on the street. Talk about these when you get up in the morning and when and when you go to bed at night and all the times in between. Tie them on your hands and your foreheads as a reminder. Inscribe them on your doorposts and around the gates of your city so that there's a constant reminder. In essence, build a monument and inside your homes and around in your communities so that you are constantly reminded of God's grace and God's goodness. You see, Moses knew the tendency of all people to lose focus and to forget God's mercy unless God's words and his marvels are constantly reinforced. Moses warns the people that their success is found in their continued focus on God, starting in their homes and continuing with their children and their grandchildren. Years ago, I lived in Ghana in West Africa. There was a proverb that stayed with me all these years. It read, the ruin of a nation begins in the homes of its people. That Ghanaian proverb speaks to what Moses knew already. Moses knew that the destiny of a nation is not found in the weapons or the flags or the songs or the military might. The destiny of a nation is determined by the homes of that nation. It is determined in the families that we have and in our children in the future. 
in the values and the respect for biblical principles that we show. That our success is not measured by the things that we have, but rather by the people we have helped and the principles of God we have lived by. The world and the statistics that we look at today tell us that we are not learning and passing on those values. Families don't have devotional time anymore. Between the year 1997 and 2004, churches lost tens of thousands of Sunday school programs. Some evangelical denominations even saw a 40% decrease in Sunday school. Unfortunately, in America, we view success in terms of money, fame, our career success, not in terms of of how godly our walk is. Moses reminded the children of Israel and he reminds modern Christians that God wants us to view success in terms of godly, loving family relationships. The sermon Moses was delivering was not a challenge to government leaders. It was a challenge to people, to parents, to families, to individuals, to churches. We are challenged by Moses to follow God's teachings and to continue to pass on those teachings for modern Christians. It is not the duty of government or of schools or of public institutions to teach our children about godliness. It is our challenge. If we want our children to know of God, if that is important to us, then we must teach them of God. Our churches must teach them of God, and we must take them to Sunday school. That's the lesson for this week. Have a great week. Bye.